Okay, okay, welcome back. Um, today we're going to make a pickup with uh, widget. So when you get close to the item, a widget, a widget will pop up to let you know uh, the item name or some some icons. Okay, so <clears throat> so right now we have we are able to pick up. Um, the item from the ground, everything. We don't have any inventory yet or a way to show the item we have, but we're gonna get there. So, okay, let's go to the widget. Um, I imported some icons that I've purchased. Um, so yeah, so let's create a new widget, call it uh, pickup. Item or whatever you want to call it doesn't matter. Open it up. Um, let me let me look at my reference real quick. Okay, first we're gonna add a border, and then gonna change the color to black. Oh, opacity to 0.7, um, 0.7, and make sure it is custom screen we're gonna do 300 I think I did 50 if I'm not mistaken okay 80 I did 80 instead of 50 80 okay um, we're gonna add a horizontal, horizontal box and then from the we're gonna uh, I'm gonna remove the padding or you can keep it if you want. Uh, matter of fact, yeah. Let's just keep it. Yeah. Let's keep it. add an image and call it uh, item icon. Yep. And let's add a text. I'm gonna call the text item name. All right. Make it a variable. Center. And we're gonna give it some pattern to the left. Ten. Yep. Okay, cool. And with the image, we're gonna wrap it with a size box. Okay, and we're gonna overwrite the width. I think I made it a hundred. Yeah, a hundred. So now we're going back to the master item. And with with the master item selected, let's add a widget and call it item widget. All right. And go to the viewport. Um, pick up item, and it was three hundred by eighty. And then move it uh, however you want to move it. Move it to the top right here. And I always say draw a desired size. Click that on. And change it from world to sc screen. So that way, when you see, so that way it can always be facing the player. Ooh. Yeah. We need to go back here and change the text to something smaller than that. Let's let's do seventeen. All right. So I'll go to the event graph. Um, let's remove the event construct and the pre-construct. We're gonna keep the uh, event take. All right. So how the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna calculate the distance between the player in the, the item so this is how we're gonna show the, the the widget okay so for example if we like 300 centimeters I think away from the item we're gonna hide the widget but if we closer to it like that we're gonna show the widget okay um, let me go here and change this Cause I'm not, I don't like the way it look. 
let's make it 100. Or you can do it however you want. It's up to you. Yeah, I think. Wait, no, that's not what I need to check. What is it? I need to go here. Select the widget. Yep. And check that. Yep, there we go. Now I can go back and switch it back to 80. And put this at 80 also. All right. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, cool. Now, what we do need, we need a reference to the pickup master, to the item that we we are interacting with. We need a reference to it. So I'm gonna create a variable called, uh, let's call it item ref, right? It's gonna be the BP, the type BP master item object reference okay so now we say get player character we need the distance to we need to get a node called distance to right we need to get the distance between our player and the item that we interacting with click it here so now we need to check how far away the player is from the item. And based on the distance, we're gonna either show or hide the widget. So we say greater or uh, less, less than 350, yes. And click B for a branch. And if you highlight the nodes and you hit Q, it will straighten out the the, the code for you. So let's print string so that way we can see if our thing is working. Working. And print string again. Say not working. Oh, whatever. Okay, cool. Boom, see, we got working. Now if you go Right away, we should get not working. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Let me see. I don't want to reference. Yes. Yeah, 350. Okay. So. Um, we need a reference to the, to the container. So I'm going to call this container, All right? Make it a variable and go back to get a reference to it. Uh, on the true, we say set visibility to visible and then on the false we're gonna set it to collapse right so the reason why it wasn't working on the master weapon or master item i should say um we need to have access to to the to the widget itself so that way the the item can communicate with the widget, right? So if we go to the master BP, and let me look at my nodes real quick. So that way I don't waste my time clicking button for no reason. Okay, yeah. So on event begin play, begin play, we need to grab the widget and get user object, right? 
So we need to get, now we need to cast to the pickup item widget, right? Pickup, cast to pickup. And we need to set the or, uh, the item, which is the reference to this. So we go here and we say set item reference because we needed a reference to it and we type self right now let's go check it out so now since we all the way over here nothing happened but when we get close boom see there are multiple ways you can do it and I know some of you are probably going to say, why, why am I using the, the, the event take? It's going to um, cost. But because we're dealing with the widget, it's not really going to be too hard in performance. So, Or the other way you can do it, if you don't want to do it that way, you can show the widget when your character interact with uh, the item for example here you let me see print a string say create widget widget here right and then once they leave you say we move widget here all right so let's go see. So, boom, create widget here. Boom, remove it. See, create, remove. So you would just create a function that will either show or hide the widget that way. So now let's go and show the, the name and the icon. So we get the name variable we say set uh, text, right? Okay. And also we'll do it for the false, we set it to nothing. Um, okay, now we need a reference to the item data or item info. So we create a variable called item um, info, info, right? And item info, so um, give me one sec. item info and we're gonna grab the item info and then we're gonna break it and then we get the name and then uh yeah plug it in here so and we want to also set the the image let me see did i make it a variable nope oh yes yes already is Okay, so we click it, we say set brush from texture, like that, and here, let's get the, the icon, yep, click it here. And did I add a, an image for the icon, did I? Nope, I did not. Health, here we go. So now, we get close. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Okay. 
Okay, I'm getting the item info, right? Okay, let me double check my my reference real quick. Yes. Set text, item name. Okay. Interesting. Let me see some. Let me delete these and we add them. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, but uh, let me pause this and that would be right back. Okay, I am back. The issue is um, I shouldn't get, I shouldn't, this variable right here, I need it from the item. Okay, so let's do this and get a get it from the item item info right because we need the information from the item we're interacting with right Duh. <laughs> okay now this should work this should definitely work don't make me a lie aha there we go voila Voila. Okay. All right. So that's it for this video. And the next one, we're going to start working on the widget, on the menu widget. All right. See you.